Hey guys, Ben Groen, World Trick Champion down here at the World Barefoot Center. Just want to talk to you guys a little bit today about learning to barefoot water ski using the front deep method. First things first, you're gonna make sure that you've got padding, right? You want a nice padded butt for this, whether it's just a really good wetsuit with some thick padding in it, or don't be afraid to add the extra and go with the padded shorts as well. You'll be spending a lot of time on your butt out there and you wanna be as comfortable and patient as you can be, so get the padding. Now, what we're gonna do with the actual start itself, you'll be holding onto the boom between your two cables, feet are nice and wrapped around the outside cable, legs nice and straight on that start. You're gonna push those hips up to the sky, your driver's gonna pull you out of the water, you're gonna sit up, look down the lake and see where you're going. From here, you should be able to see, breathe, take your time and enjoy the ride. We're gonna slowly slide those feet up the cable so those knees are nice and bent before we take them off. That way there you can pull those feet up in the air, knees are nice and bent and you can still ride on your butt with plenty of control here. From here, we're trying to bring those heels all the way down, tuck them in under our butt with our feet nice and wide. Feet wide is gonna allow you to have that nice sexy three point. Those feet get close, you wanna skip on the water, you're gonna get some spray and it's just gonna be a lot more difficult to take your time and be in control. So heels to the butt, feet nice and wide, knees pushed in, we got that three point going on. And from here, it's just a nice slow press with my hips pushing straight up onto our feet. My top three things what not to do. Number one, you wanna make sure you're tucking those heels up into your butt. What I see a lot is people putting their feet out in front of them, having a big gap there between their butt and their feet. Close the gap, heels tight to the butt. Don't put those feet out in front. Number two is get your hips under the boom. I see a lot of people really overly sitting up. Their hips drag back and now their boom, the boom is out in front of them, which is gonna pull those feet into the water. Don't be too far set up. Drive those hips under the boom so you can hold those feet in the air. And then number three is do not use those arms. Okay, we want those arms nice and relaxed. They're strong, they're gonna be pulling you down the lake, but it's all in those legs and those hips when it comes to standing up. Don't use the arms to stand, keep them nice and relaxed press through the legs.